Hello everyone. The magic flames will protect you inside this icy dungeon. Huh. Well, whatever that means. Ooh! Did that thing just come out? Magic flames. Doi, fire rod. <laughs> Alright then. <clears throat> well, guess I know why they call this... I guess they don't call it the Ice Palace for nothing. Well, now they got the key. Let's, um... Keep going in. Whew. Oh. Here's the switch. There we go. Alright then. Let's see. Hmm. Door's jammed. Nope. Nope. Oh, I guess the center is the only movable one. Alright. Monster penguins. Okay. One more. Ooh, a chest! And inside is... The compass! All right then, on to the next one. Going up. Now let's see what's in the east side. Ooh. All right. Good. So far, so good. Ouch. Oh, great. Oh. Well, I guess I found the door. Now if I could just get out. Much- Ah, uh, dead end. It's just there, but it looks like I can only get in from the neck from the floor below. So I guess that leaves... The north door. Hmm. Looks like the only w way from here is down. This is time for a little bombing run. Let's see. Can I destroy the skeleton knight with the sword alone? When he collapses, he is vulnerable to another weapon. So these skeleton knights, or as they would later be called, Stalfos, can be easily defeated with a combination of sword and the explosion. In other words, a bomb. So sword, bomb, boom. Now this platform really got under my skin, and then some. This floor keeps going from left to right, not to mention there are spikes and things crawling out everywhere. Okay, not worth it. Needless to say, this floor, this room is really the most annoying in this dungeon. Now I gotta have to take that switch again. <sighs> Ouch. Excuse me.
Do not use your magic power if you do not possess the medicine of magic. Get ready to go into the depths of the dungeon. So, it appears I'm going to have to conserve... So, unless I've got some potions, I'm going to have to try and conserve my magic. So, yeah. That's going to be a thing in, l in later dungeons. But seeing as I'm on... The fifth one. Let's see. Well, since I don't have a key, may as well see what's on this side. A hole. Hmm. May I think I'm gonna see what's around here first. Yeah, I think it's no surprise that these ice walls are really slippery. So, in this room... So, we just cross using the hook shot. Okay, so not all cracks are created equal. So we just hook shot back. And a small key. Which apparently unlocks the way out of here. Hmm. What to do now? After hammering these things, pull this up, just take the small key, take out this, take out this skeleton knight, ah, good, more hearts, then step on the switch, and if you pull the statue's tongue, it'll open the way out. Ah, the map. Perfect.
Oh. Now I just go up here. Ah, perfect! Now I can get to that chest. Which has the big key. Now that I have all the dungeon essentials, I'll just need to find that... that big chest. Must be on the lower floors.
Alright, now I'm on the lower floors and there's the bait chest. Now for the next question, how to get it. How to get to it. Well, I see another way forward. And he's gone. With Ah, good, more bombs. Just what I needed. There. Now all I need to do is... Hmm... This is gonna require a little backtracking. So it appears the uh, switch is pressure based, so I'm gonna have to try and put in a block, put something heavy on it in order to keep it open. But what to use? Now that I've uh, hit that switch, maybe we can find a way. Yep, something's gotta be standing on here. I, I wonder...
Oh, uh, if you fall down this hole here, and into the vase... Hid hidden fairies! Permit if you're... Permit if you're gonna need the extra pick-me-ups. Which I desperately need. Oh, and I should also tell you that, uh, there's actually two hidden fairy spots. Hint, hint. It's in the opposite jar. Don't believe me? Well, just keep watching. I'll just fall down here. And voila! And I'll just head <sighs> stupid ice tiles. Alright then. I think I have an idea on what to do next. Well, as you can see, you have to use a block to put on the switch. Unfortunately, I seem to have pushed the wrong one. <sighs> and in order to reset it, I have to use the magic mirror to go all the way back to the beginning. <sighs> so there's going to be a lot of trial and error here. So next time I'm gonna try and figure out this stupid switch. <laughs> 